You know, sometimes adults imagine things too. It's okay. Hey, sweetheart. Why don't you go outside and play? I'll call you when dinner's ready. Honey, put your coat on. It's freezing out there. Jody, where are you going? The yard's the other way, honey. I'm going. Great, now it can be bored and freezing. But you don't care, do you, Aiden? You never get cold. Will you push me, Aiden? Whatever. It's not fun anyway. Some fun. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Take that. <laughs> okay, I know we're not supposed to. Come on, we'll just play for five minutes and come back. Mom will never know. He's hiding back there. Come on, throw it. Ah! 
What were you doing in the street? You know you're not allowed to leave the yard! I saw the other kids playing. I, I just wanted to have some fun. What did you do to that boy? Philip. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. He was trying to defend me. He thought... I'm sick and tired of your stories! Jody, this time you're really gonna get it! No! You go to your room. Some sleep, sweetheart. Everything will be better in the morning, okay? Night night. Mommy. I'm afraid of the monsters, mommy. They're gonna get me. And you know monsters don't exist. But I'll leave the light on and the door open, okay? Get some sleep, sweetie. Susan, that's no little girl. That's... Susan, that's a monster. Don't you dare talk about her like that! The things that are happening around her, they're not normal. And they're getting stronger, for the love of God. Susan, what's to stop her from turning on us? Oh, don't be ridiculous! Susan, that thing is like an uncontrollable animal. We have no idea what it's capable of. Look, we have a demon living with us right under her own roof. Susan, this is gonna stop. And it's gonna stop now before we end up crazy or dead. We agreed to look after a little girl, Susan, but not this. Not this.
There's no reason to be scared, I didn't. We're going to sleep and nothing is gonna happen. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? And if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected 
to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? Tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay. <laughs> 